Hey everybody, Brandon here from CAD Intentions. And in today's Two Minute Tuesday, we're gonna be taking a look at how to move objects within AutoCAD. Uh, not only are we gonna take a look at the common methods, I'm gonna show you guys a couple cool tricks along the way that are gonna save you time. Uh, I think you guys are gonna really enjoy it. And if you like this tip or any of the tips that I've been putting out on the channel, don't forget to check out my AutoCAD productivity webinar, as well as the new AutoCAD fundamental and workflow course available on the site. Uh, I'll put the links up above as well as down in the description below uh, where you can get a discount uh, for being a viewer and subscriber. All right, let's get started. <laughs> As I mentioned, we're gonna be taking a look at a handful of methods to move objects and manipulate their location within AutoCAD. Uh, first up, getting right into it, is the move command. You can activate this by typing in M for move and hitting enter, or typing in the full command move. You can also access the move command from up here on the home ribbon tab under the modify uh, box and clicking on move. All of these are going to activate the same command. I'm gonna hit M for move and hit enter. It's gonna ask me to select an object. You can also have an object selected and then type M for move, and it's gonna activate the command as well. Once you've got your object selected and hit enter, it's gonna ask you for a base point or a displacement. A base point is gonna allow you to move based on the point that you click here. So if you've got snap on, you could move it based on say this bottom left corner. Clicking there is gonna allow you to start moving the object. You're gonna see in real time where it's going and you can snap by turning on snap, hitting F3 to another object or you can simply move it to another place. Activating the command again, so we're gonna hit move, we're gonna select our object again and hit enter. Choosing the displacement option is gonna give you the ability to specify a displacement based on the zero zero uh, coordinates. So if you wanna move it to the right, uh, say 10 units and say up 10 units, that would be 10 comma 10. Uh, the X coordinate is first. So say you wanna move it to the right. So that'd be a positive in the X. Uh, you can move it say 20 comma 10. So that's gonna move it to the right 20 units and up in the Y coordinate 10 units. Uh, by adding a second comma and third number, that's gonna give it an, uh, a Z or elevation move as well. I'm just gonna leave that as zero. So it's not gonna change the Z axis, but it's gonna move it 20 units to the right, positive X and 10 units up, positive 10. And you can see it moved slightly there to the right and up. All right, so that's the move command in general. Typing M is gonna activate it. You can type M with objects selected or select them afterwards. Now, the second way to move objects is by simply selecting them and clicking on them somewhere uh, and dragging them. So if you click on one of these uh, vertex boxes here or grips, you're gonna modify your object. You don't wanna do that. But what you do wanna do is just select by clicking and holding down the mouse your object anywhere on that highlighted blue line. Now I can simply drag it around and move it out of the way. You can see that works with any of these types of objects, clicking on the blue line. So anywhere on a line that is not a grip is gonna allow you to move it. One thing to know though about that uh, option is that it doesn't work the same way uh, with everything. It's going to still work with text, so you could grab a piece of text and move it if you're grabbing on the blue. But with text, you can actually grab this grip, which is going to allow you to move the text around based on its justification time point. In this one, it's middle top. So at the top middle here is a blue grip that's gonna allow me to move the text around. The same goes for blocks. Blocks are going to have a grip that allows you to move an object around. But like this one here, you can also just select the line work and move it freely. This trick is also going to work for hatches. So if I select this hatch here, you can see I've got a uh, circle grip here. By selecting it, it's gonna allow me to move the entire hatch around 
But in the case of a hatch, you're unable to click along the outer rim here or outer line. You can see I'm trying and it's just giving me a selection box. You can, however, use this grip to move it around, uh, but you can't use the previous method uh, to drag it around. You can use that with most objects, uh, but not with hatches in particular. Again, if you want to move a group of objects, you can select them uh, initially and simply type M for move. And now you're going to be able to select your base point or displacement and move all of the objects at once. Now, lastly here for a cool kind of less known or used tip, you can go over to the express tools ribbon panel here and under modify, choose the move, copy and rotate command or M O C O R O for short. If you'd like to type it out, uh, that's kind of a mouthful. So this button is probably easier by selecting it. You have the ability to choose an object. So we're going to choose this uh, object over here to the right and we're going to hit enter to select it. It's going to ask you for a base point. I'm just going to snap to this bottom left point here. And now the cool part is that you have three options, uh, the move, copy and rotate. You also have a few others, uh, but we'll just focus on the, the main three. So by typing in M and hitting enter, it's going to allow you to move this object. But by selecting a new location, it's keeping open this command. So now you can choose to copy by hitting C. And now you've got a copy and continually can copy the object until you're done. When finished, hit enter and it's going to bring back that command again. And now you can simply type R for rotate. So now you have the ability to do all three of these. So I just hit C now and now I'm copying this slightly rotated version. And now I can hit enter and then M and I can move it again. So that's combining all three into a single command, which can be a big time saver when you need to quickly copy and rotate, say, blocks or objects around an area, say like this floor plan here, placing similar blocks like these number two windows in different locations and rotations. It'll allow you to copy, move and rotate each of these objects in a single command saving you a few clicks with each one and ultimately saving you a ton of time over the life of say a project. So that's it for the move command. If you guys have any questions, don't forget to leave them down in the comments below. And if this one was helpful uh, or you'd like to hear a ton more tips like this, check out my AutoCAD productivity webinar available down below. Uh, I'll put that link and it's on sale right now. Uh, or my AutoCAD fundamentals and workflows course, which is a longer, more fleshed out uh, course for those looking to learn a ton of useful workflows within AutoCAD and time saving uh, tricks. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Have a good one. Cheers. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, be sure to check out my last video right here. Uh, and don't forget to subscribe up here to make sure you're up to date and you see all my new videos. Thanks again. Cheers.